everyone welcome back this is Rihanna and today we're gonna be making a um, fruit basket an edible fruit basket and so I um, have decided to do some that are gonna be dipped in chocolate and then some that are gonna be plain so I have chosen my fruits according to what I could find was um, it's winter right now so you not, not very many fruits are you know good like but I still managed to get some pretty good fruits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using two types of grapes which are red and green and um, we're also going to be using a honeydew and a cantaloupe and um, I've cut it a little bit differently and I'll talk about that a little later I have a pineapple here that I have also taken a cookie cutter and I did all this ahead of time because I didn't want the video to become really long so I did like the pineapples in heart shaped and then I did another pineapple that was in a flower shape. So just to give you a little bit of idea of um, what different things that you can do with um, fruits and how to make it look really nice. Now here, as you can see, I have some strawberries. And so some of them are polka dotted, some of them look like a rose. Um, there, some of them are dipped in chocolate and then striped white with white chocolate. So just different, different things I've done here. Now I have a video on how to make chocolate dipped strawberries or chocolate covered strawberries. I will put a link up or on the bottom so you guys can click on it and it'll take you straight to that video if you need to watch. I will give you a couple examples of dipping. Um, I haven't shown you how I dip my oranges. So I just, I'm gonna talk about this a little later, but I've dipped some oranges in chocolate and I also took pineapple and I dipped part of it in chocolate. So um, let's get started. So these are the fruits that we have. I have a basket here and um, you, know, you just wanna get something inexpensive, go to Savers, go to the dollar store, pick up inexpensive stuff. Um, just had this sitting at home. Now in my basket, I, what I have done is I've taken a see-through plastic bag and I've just lined it so that if there's any thing that leaks the water there will maybe I don't know if there's gonna be water from the fruit that might drain and since this um, buck basket has like holes in it I don't want it to be a mess so this is why I used a uh, plastic bag inside here I have just some artesian lettuce and I love this because it's in different colors so I'm gonna use this and so what I'm going to do with that is I'm gonna start lining that up inside my basket and so you know not only is this going to serve as a base for my fruits to be poked through but this is also going to serve as a decorative piece piece which will look really really nice so um now i have done a lot lots uh, lots of uh, edible bouquets and i've always used foam on the bottom this is the first time that i'm using lettuce so we're gonna see how this works. We're gonna see how this is gonna work together. So, um, so I'm just I'm just kind of lining it up, feathering it open, so it just kind of looks nice, just like so. And you just want to squish it in there so you can have a good base under there. And then I'm gonna take some of the leaves out from here, and the reason why I'm doing it is in the end, just in case if I feel like I I need to uh, put it somewhere just for decorative purposes, I have some. So you wanna make a pretty tight. So I'm just gonna leave just a couple of these leaves out just in case if I wanna put it. So I'm just making it really, really tight. Stays nice. And I love this blend because it's got the you know the purples and the greens it just looks really really pretty okay so so our base is done now what we want to start off with is you want to start off now I don't know if I want I, I think I'm going to go this way I think I'm gonna have the handle just a little bit up, up in the middle like that and so <clears throat> what you want to do is you always want to start from the bottom and start um, so what you can do is let's Let's go ahead and do a pineapple. So what you want to do is you use the long bamboo skewers and you just want to break it off and you want to start on the bottom. So it's more, see how it's on the more on the bottom side. Then we can work 
higher up as we go along. Now, as far as the oranges, what I did was in the morning, I uh, peeled the orange, I took it apart, um, I had you know each segment, and I left it on a, a paper uh, towel and a plate, and I let it dry out completely. So when I was dipping them in, they weren't fresh, they weren't slippery, but they were dry. And I actually love eating my oranges like that because when you eat it, it's got the chocolate on top, which is hardened, and then you have the um, the crispy outside and the really soft inside. So this here, what you want to do is you just want to start layering your, your fruit more on the bottom side. And I'll do one of each fruit, and then I'm going to go ahead, start assembling it, and then I'll see you back here in a little bit. But um, just, I don't want to bore you, so I just, I'm trying to see what, and um, the reason why I also cut my cantaloupe or the honeydew um, in different ways was just because to give it a little bit of the dimension. Like, you know, it just looks nicer. So this one, maybe I won't cut it. So just to give you an idea, this one I'm just going to go ahead and just stick it in there. Okay, just like that. So then I'll see where I want to put the rest of my fruits and then build a basket according to that and I don't I really like using the longer um, bamboo sticks that way I can cut it as as much or I can cut it how I want to or how big or small short or tall so see now I want to show you something see how we've got this sticking out this bamboo sticking out so what you can do then is you can just take a grape and stick it up there so things little things like this you can add to it and um, as far as let me just show you as far as dipping uh, the stuff in the chocolate so what I have here is I have some really good quality chocolate and I'll show you which one I used. I used the Giardelli chocolates. Now I will make a video on tempering chocolate and all that just to and just to give you an idea of what um, you know real chocolate is is um, what real chocolate is and what this kind of chocolate is because this doesn't have cocoa in it, <clears throat> so it doesn't need any tempering. So um, this is really good for dipping and it's also really, really good tasting. So this is what I use. So basically what you wanna do is say if you wanna, uh, you're doing this chocolate dipped strawberries, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna take, first just pick a really good strawberry, wash them and pat them really, really dry. Once they're really, really dry, you wanna hold on to the leaves and just dip it in and then what you want to do is just kind of want to shake it. Now, if you just hold the bamboo stick, you might lose your strawberry in there. So I usually just hold it just like that. Okay. Once you have this, you want to have a type of glass or something where you're going to hold them um, up so that now because we're making an arrangement, you want to have these all around looking good. If we dip this in strawberry and then laid them on the wax paper, the bottom side is gonna be flat. So when the the, the, the bouquet is gonna be up, part of it, you'll be able to see the flat side. And, and I don't like to see that in a bouquet. I really like to see all the smooth edges. And then now, I also have the white chocolate here, but I also wanna talk a little bit about the white chocolate. And that is that don't use a crock pot. I had to try it because I wanted to share the information with you. If you look inside, it started burning just a little bit on me and I caught it in time. Now, crock pots usually run really, really low, but don't do it. Um, use this. This is a, this is a Wilton. It's made by Wilton. Um, it's a chocolate pro. It's got the off 
the warm and the melt so when you're melting your chocolate you put it on melt it melts really quickly hold it on warm for three four hours and nothing happens and it stays perfectly fine so like right now it's gonna be on warm because I'm gonna dip some strawberries for myself to snack on at home so um, so you see this chocolate now this is dry the one that I just did I placed over there for it to dry now I don't know how this is gonna come out because it has started drying but then what you want to do is either you could use a, um, a uh, pastry bag or a ziplock bag you want to fill that up and then just um, do it see how I did it in the other video but just because this is not I didn't want to make too many this is what I did and it you know it any way you do it it looks beautiful look at how gorgeous that looks just absolutely gorgeous so again I am gonna stick I'm gonna take one out because um, I need the space and then again you want it to dry on something and the best thing about these is the best thing about putting it like in a glass is that they they kind of tilt so if they have any extra chocolate in it you're gonna have a drip on the bottom so lay a wax paper on the bottom or parchment paper so that way they're not dripping on the bottom although I've not had any problems with my strawberries dripping um, so that's just a little bit that I wanted to tell you about the white chocolate now as far as this bouquet this bouquet I am making for a fundraiser for our mosque and I will put down how much this went for and how much money was raised for this organization now um, so I showed you the strawberry let me quickly show you how to do the orange slice so I have see I have the little orange slice and it's pretty dry so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna dip it in there and take it out and then again I'm gonna start taking some of the excess chocolate and let it drip off now because once I'll show you this now once the chocolate is dry it doesn't really I mean it looks perfectly okay it, you don't have to put it in a skewer and then let it dry off then once you have your orange and it's you know ready the chocolate is ready you are you can put it in a skewer and then you can start arranging your fruit so like this one I did was just plain chocolate and then what I did with this one is I just go went ahead and striped it with the white chocolate so I'm going to go ahead start picking my fruits and putting all this together when we come back I'm going to show you the finished product so we're back and I just want to show you that you know um, started from the bottom up and just started putting my fruits in and then I wanted to show you one trick here that I learned because kind of wanted to give it a little bit of height and I wasn't getting it because the bamboo skewers were showing so what you want to do is you want to thread your um, grapes uh, you can do either or you can do you can do all red you can do all green but I think this just adds some more color and then what I did was I took another bamboo skewer here and I went as close as the previous one and just threaded a bit of it to go in there so see how much height it gave us and then you can basically come back and add it wherever you want to put it in so and then you kind of want to look at it at all angles and then just make sure and see that um, you know none of the bamboo screws are showing or and if you have some that are showing you can just add a bigger fruit in front to sh cover that up but so this is basically my completed project and I will be coming back and putting it in the annotations um, how much money we raised so you know I can still keep on going and with these kind of things you can keep on adding more and more and more fruit but um, you know if you're planning to make these these are wonderful for baby showers for birthdays um, anything for like a centerpiece they're just really really good and they're on a stick so everybody can just take one and enjoy it um, they are they are time-consuming and they're very very messy and I'm gonna let you know ahead of time you know, you're gonna need a lot of paper towels you're gonna be have to cleaning it it after every um, fruit that you cut so just letting you know that before you get into a project like this you're gonna you're gonna easily be doing this for about two three hours you know knick knacking doing things that you want to 
you know, I still have some of my strawberries remaining. And so I either could put it in here or just save it and treat myself for working so hard today. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.